I'm Brad Nessler, joined in the booth by Lee Corso and Kirk Kerbstreet. The heat may be a factor in today's game with the Colorado State Rams and the Wyoming Cowboys. And here come the Cowboys. I'll tell you, this one can go either way. Kirk, what do you think will happen today? Colorado State needs a big game from their talented running back, and I think they'll win the battle up front, and he's going to have a tremendous day. Look for him to lead them to victory. But Lee, it's going to be very close. You know me. I decided my pick a couple of days ago. There's no way the Rams lose. Well, Lee, we're about to find out how right you are. Let's join the captains and the referee at midfield for the coin toss brought to you by Coke. Colorado State is ready to open this one up as they line up for the opening kick. Short kickoff. Number 23 fields it at the 19. At the point. Now let's see what kind of success this offense can have as they come out onto the field for the first time today. If there's anyone on the field that this quarterback has to watch out for today, it's this ball hawk at safety. It's not very often you would classify a defensive player as exciting. This guy fits the billing. Whether it be his tackling ability in the running game or his ball hawking ability in the passing game, he will find a way to beat you. I'll tell you one thing, Kirk. We'll be calling his name more than once today. One man backfield. They'll give it off here. Tackle at the 20. How about that run by this halfback? You know what? When this offense can run the ball like this, watch out. They can score quickly. Watch out is right, because now you got to worry about the run and the pass on defense. The Cowboys line up with a single setback to you. They give to the tailback. Shifty move there. Touchdown, Wyoming. An impressive run as he finds the end zone. Yeah, he's got skills. I wouldn't want to be a defender in the open field with him coming at me. Oh, come on, Scooter. You take him down. So the kicker's on the field to attempt the extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. So down to just a few seconds left in the first quarter with a score. Wyoming, seven. Colorado State, nothing. Wyoming lines up for the kickoff. Here's the kick. Number 27 fields it at the seven. So now we'll get to see the offense come out of the field for their first drive of this game. They'll go to work at the 30-yard line. line. First and 10. Colorado State comes out of the shotgun, throws it, caught, and down he goes at the 31-yard line. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. That's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Pitch out. And they got him for a loss. Number and the linebacker comes up and makes a One big stop. Loss. This is textbook. This is how you're supposed to play against the run. Yeah, and that time the defense got him to go backwards. Third they line up at the 30. Ball it's third the down. Yard line. Defense! 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 Drops back to pass. He throws it. It's complete. Oh, he got tattooed on that one. The 20 didn't have the ball the on there. Having three ball control is important in football. Ball. And three and out is what you want to avoid for sure. So they're set to punt this one away. Number six is back awaiting the punt. He gets it off. Number six, fields it to 44. Well, guys, they got a touchdown on their last drive. And you know, Brad, they stuck to the running game, and it proved to be very effective on that last drive. 
If they keep running the football like they have been, then we may see another six points on the board real soon. Across the middle. And he brings it down. And he's all the way down to the 25. The quarterback broke down the coverage on that one. First down. When you drop back to pass and see zone, it's a matter of you and the receiver getting on the right page and finding the right window to put the ball through. Hey, Kirk, that's probably what you did playing in the backyard, right? But you broke a lot of windows, I bet you. Oh, great catch. The defense was coming with heat on that play. Yeah, but the offensive line did a good job of picking up their assignments. That gave the quarterback enough time to throw a nice pass to pick up the first down. Wyoming can smell the end zone as they look to extend this lead. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Inside give, and they're in. Touchdown. Zero ticks left on the clock, and they pounded in before halftime. You got to love it. I love it all right, Coach. Big play. And they're lining up for the PAT. Splits the uprights with the extra point. And now we'll take a look at the Pontiac drive summary. Well, we've played a half of football, and our score is Wyoming 14, Colorado State nothing. The Wyoming and the teams are lined up to start the second half. Off to start the second half. He sends it downfield. Number 27 takes it from the six. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. First down. Number 16 comes to the line with three wide. Hands it to the back. He jukes him, and they make the stop at the 49. On the run. Number 34 Game gains about four yards on the play. play. From their own 29-yard line, it's second down, six yards to go. One man backfield. And they'll run him again. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. It was the defensive lineman that got a hold of him there. And when that kid gets a hold of you, then you usually go down. And you're not going to break many tackles when this guy gets his hands on you. Third it's and third eight. down and eight to go. Ball on the 27-yard line. Hits them hard at the 28. They'll be stopped before they reach the first down marker. Now that was some real hard nosed defense. Way to bring up fourth down, guys. Four so they're going to go for it here. Ball on the 28 yard line. Number 34 lines up as a single back. Back to pass. He's looking down the middle. And it's the tight end. Tackle at the 46, Colorado State will call a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. Here are today's Coca-Cola players of the game. These kids really stepped it up. He drops back. Throws. They can't connect. Incomplete. Number 85 was the intended receiver on that pass. So that'll make it second down. Second down, 10 yards to go. All on the 46-yard line. Colorado State lines up in a shotgun set. Looking, flips it. Incomplete pass. I think the pressure forced that miscue, guys. Yeah, good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. They come out with four wide out. Looks to pass. He steps up to number 16 with a fumble. And they make the stop at the 47-yard line. Colorado State will have one timeout remaining. They've got one fourth down conversion on this drive. Now they'll give it another go. 
Colorado State goes with the ace set here. Here we go. He lets it go. Got him on the run. He's pushed out of bounds. Number seven. The 30 yard line. So they'll keep the drive alive with a first down pass. It's fourth down. They've got the offense on their heels and they let them do that. I don't think it was bad defense. It was just a good pitch and catch for the conversion. He passes it. And it's incomplete. Looks like there's an injured player on the field. Second, Second down ten. and 10 to go Ball on the 30-yard line. line. Ace backfield. Drops back to pass. Looking. Got hit as he threw. The ball is tipped. He threw that to a guy who was well covered, and it almost got intercepted. Yeah, he's very lucky. That ball was over the tip. Third down and 10 coming up. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. Watch out for this impact defensive end. Back to pass. And he's going to be sacked. The tackle got embarrassed that time, allowing the end to come free. First and 10. We'll see what they can do in the red zone. the play action rolls to the right the cavalry's coming and he can't get away from the pressure the Rams call for a timeout and that was their third and final timeout it's second and 15 this is the 13th play second of this drive Ball on the 23. This yard. one's over, folks. Just time for one more play to get some stats. So don't be surprised if you see everyone trying to pick this one off. He's wrapped up for the sack. It's a done deal here as the final whistle blows. What are your final thoughts on this game, Kirk? You know, I think it was a well-played game for the most part. Colorado State did not seem to gel out there at all, and I hate to state the obvious, but guys, unless you score, you can't win. They really need to do something with this offense because it looked miserable out there today. We hope you enjoyed this game as much as we enjoyed bringing it to you. So long, everyone.